On top of the fact that Obama seems to be doing pretty well in the national polls, when you look at the polls state by state and break it down according to their electoral college votes, Obama is doing ridiculously well. At least he is as of today, September 14th. In this election, in order to win, a candidate needs to get at least 270 electoral college votes. And according to the electoral map on the Huffington Post website, Obama has 248 of those votes pretty much in the bag, while Romney is only barely hanging on to 206. There are currently four states in which the difference in polling numbers is within the 3% statistical margin of error, and those states only count for a total of 58 electoral college votes. And those states, which I will list in the order in which Mitt Romney seems to be doing the best or losing the least, depending on how you look at it, are Virginia, Iowa, Florida, and Wisconsin. If Mitt Romney manages to hold on to all of the states that are currently polling in his favor and win all of the toss-up states, he would still need to win at least Colorado. And in the Colorado polls, Romney currently trails Obama by 3.4%. Now these are the totals that I've come up with, and there are lots of different ways you can do the math, so you can take my numbers with a grain of salt, but regardless of how you look at it, things look incredibly rough for Mitt Romney. Considering the fact that today Mitt Romney is only polling favorably in states that total 206 electoral college votes, and the toss-up states only account for 58 electoral college votes, even if Mitt Romney holds on to all the states he currently has, and wins all of the toss-up states, that only gets him up to 264 votes, six votes shy of what he would need to win. 